Hello everyone, Rogue Fox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, we will be looking at my top 10 builds of 2018. With the year coming to a close, I have done so many redstone videos, so many redstone contraptions, a lot of these haven't even seen the light of day yet, they've just been hanging out in my redstone world. So I thought it would be fun to show off some of my builds that I really enjoyed making throughout this past year. So let's go ahead and get started. Today's top 10 aren't going to be in any particular order except of the month they were created. So if we go all the way back to January of this year, and I believe this was January 2nd, I released the 3x3 Fallout Vault Door. Now I'm still, I still haven't figured out how to make a regular 3x3 Vault Door on my own. That's something I want to do. But I was inspired by Fallout, and if you know how the Vault Door opens, at least in Fallout 4, we had this little arm back here where it would go into the door and then roll it off to the side. Now, unfortunately, we can do that in Minecraft, but I try to do the next best thing. So if you haven't seen this build yet, and there will be links to these videos in the description below, we flip our lever like this, door opens up, and then you can see this piston retracts and goes up and acts as that mechanical arm. So let's go ahead and try to flip it from this side. I don't know if I have a lever on this side. Let's go ahead and check. Yes, I do. So from this side, we can go ahead and flip it. Uh, apparently, let's go ahead and break that. Maybe that did it. There we go. Okay. Trying to figure out how I wired these things up. So we can see the piston arm right here, and then we can close it from this side. And then you can see it drops down and then pushes forward with this redstone block right here. So this was very fun to make. So let's go ahead and take a look at the second build. The next build on the list is the on-off nether portal. This video was released two days after the Fallout 3x3 vault door, and I was really proud of this one because this is the first build, I believe, that I actually fit all the redstone into a one block wide area. So you can see this is all the redstone right here. Now, if you haven't seen this one, all we do is press this button right here. That will turn on the portal. And then to turn it off, all we do is press the bottom one, and then it will quickly dispense water and shut it off. Let's move forward to February of 2018, and this is build number three. This is the Hidden Spiral Staircase, and I was really excited about making this one because I was trying to figure out how to make these flush hidden piston doors, and this is one of the first ones I came up with, and I got so excited when I figured out all the redstone timing because we know how timings can be in bedrock condition. So if you haven't seen this one, we flip this lever right here, and then we have our spiral staircase, and then of course when we flip it again, Everything goes back and is flush with the floor. And if we come back to the redstone world, I do have a few different variations of the hidden spiral staircase. Now, some of these are wired up differently, so they function just slightly different. So this one closes with the two up on the side right here at the same time. I don't remember which one made it in. Probably that one. And these are probably just variations, I think, at different speeds. But anyways, that is the hidden spiral door. And hello. This is a 2017 build, or else this probably would have been in the list. But again, another one of those builds that when I figured out how to wire it up, I got really excited. So this is the one wide hidden staircase. Alright, let's move on. If we go ahead and move forward to build number 4 and to March of 2018, I released this two wide hidden staircase that you see right here. Now this, this took me forever to figure out. And I was talking with Bowtie Man about this because we discussed redstone. And I don't know if I'm just weird, but sometimes redstone just makes sense to me at 2 in the morning. So I remember waking up in the middle of the night, and for some reason, the redstone just clicked. I had been working on this build all day, and I couldn't figure out the redstone. But like I said, I woke up for some random reason at 2 in the morning, and all of a sudden I started building this, and it made sense. So I came up with this. If we flip our lever, this reveals our hidden staircase. And then, of course, if we flip it again, it closes right back up and is nice and flush with the wall. Now, I remember this was a very bulky build, as you can see. So for the tutorial, whoever saw this one, I did half a side just like this. And you can see this in itself, uh, it's not so complicated anymore, but was very complicated to wire up. And I think it was pretty compact for what I was trying to do. So everything made sense. Looks like I broke a block there because there should be a block. Yeah, there should be another block down there with some redstone. So for some reason that broke, but I did half a side. I don't know if this door's not even going to work. Yeah. <laughs> so we did half a side, and then, of course, if you just mirrored this on the other side, 
you would come up with the full build right here. For any of you who have seen my old tutorials, this area may look familiar because this is my old tutorial world. So where we were at the beginning of the video is where I test all my redstone, and when I actually made my tutorials, I came to this world here, and you can see with the update a while back, it kind of glitched everything out. I mean, look at that. If any of you have played Bedrock long enough, you would remember that this block would drop as an item if you use the cobblestone generator fast enough. Moving on to build number five, this is the automatic minecart unloader, and this was made at the end of March of 2018. So for some reason, I see comments once in a while saying that this doesn't work, and I, I just don't quite understand why. Again, it may be the redstone timings because there is chances of redstone getting off, as I demonstrated with the smart furnace just last week, and then when I built it in my survival world. Uh, just a couple tweaks need to be made, but this does work, for those of you wondering. So, if we open the chest, there is nothing there, and down below, I do have 16 diamonds. So what I'm going to do is throw this stack down, just to show it still works. So it's going to pick up our stack right here. This is going to come back across, and it's going to stop and unload everything. And as soon as it's done unloading, it'll take off once again. There we go. So I was super excited when I made this because, as I said in the video, this is what works on Java and Console Edition. So very simple, but it just doesn't work in Bedrock, so some tweaks had to be made to it. So as you can see, we do have this extra redstone off to the side here with this detector rail just to work out the timing so everything worked out the way it should. And that is build number five, the automatic minecart unloader. Moving forward to July of 2018, I released the Soul Sand Magma Block Elevator. Now, as I checked recently, it is over 15,000 views. So a massive thank you to all of you who have watched the video. And to me, that is 15,000 people that got helped and now have a Soul Sand Magma Block Elevator. So I'm glad this video has helped so many of you out. So this was the final product right here. So for those of you who haven't seen this one, if we press this button right here, right now the elevator is going up. So if we jump in, it's pushing us up. But we flip this, or if we press the button there, this light turns on to let us know that the elevator is going down. So we wait for that to update, and you can see this is now a magma block. So it has swapped out. And then hopefully we can take it down just like that. And then of course when we get to the bottom, we can flip it. That will swap to soul sand and then it'll take us all the way back up. So this was very fun to figure out, so I wired all this up back here. And of course, I do have my test versions right here. So this was a smaller scale that I made. I believe this was the tutorial right here, these two builds. So I built this one first, and then I built this one to let you see that it could be made bigger. But going back to the original concepts, you can see all the redstone is all janky and how it's wired up. And I believe it doesn't wire up. It does wire up from the bottom. So I don't know if this one works. So we can do that. Okay, so that one does work. And then this was my first crack at it right here. So you can see I was just trying to get the concept down. This only works from the top. I don't have a button down below. So all I was trying to do is figure out if I could swap the blocks from the top, which I was able to do. So we can see them swap. And then of course, we get to our build that we have today where we're able to swap the blocks from the top or from the bottom. So that is build number six, and that is the Soul Sand Magma Block Elevator. Let's go ahead and move on to September of 2018, the beginning of September. And I came out with the 2x2 hidden piston door, flush with the wall, jeb door, whatever you like to call it. And these are just the prototypes, so I believe the final version came out smaller than this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it did. So this is hooked up to a button right here, but you can see how it's going to work. And in the tutorial, I did hook that up to a T flip-flop, and again, all the videos will be linked in the description below so you can check those out for yourselves. But here is my other prototype. And it's just wired up slightly different. It's a lot bulkier. Uh, yes. Yeah, okay, it makes sense. It makes sense because it does work from both sides. That's what I was trying to do before I hooked it up to the T flip-flop. And then of course my first take at it is this. I'm not even sure. There's a lot of resonant torches going on. I have no idea what's going on. So it, it does open clearly. And then if we flip it again. I believe my issue was the bottom pistons. Yeah, so that was the trouble I was running into, was wiring up the bottom. I couldn't figure that out. So if you notice a theme here with the builds that I'm showing off, it's a lot of builds that I was messing around with. I couldn't figure out the redstone, and then I finally figured it out, and I got super excited about it, and I couldn't wait to share it with all of you. So if we go ahead, so this was made in September, and this was actually made 
around the same time as this one, the 1x2 Hidden Piston Door, which I released back in May. So you can see the different variations I went through in making this. And of course, this ended up being wired up to T-Flip-Flop as well, not just a lever. But you can see all my different variations here. You can see all the different types of redstone that I went through. And if you've seen the tutorial for this 1x2 Hidden Piston Door, you would know the redstone is a lot more simple and a lot more compact than what you see here. And that, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what that is. In the middle of September, I released the Bedrock Brewing Station. Now, I called it that because this brewing station, unlike the other ones out there, we're using exclusive Bedrock features. And when I say that, I did mention this in the 12 Days of Redstone in the first couple of days. But when I say exclusive Bedrock features, I mean Redstone features that only work in Bedrock Edition, such as the pulling and pushing of chests, hoppers, droppers, things like that. So how this worked, you can see we have some levers selected here. So that would be our ingredients. And then when we're ready to brew our potion, we just push this. And you can see the ingredients chest retract and go into our hopper system, which would then come out to our brewing station, which is full at the moment. But let's see here. That's the water. You can see the ingredients here, so everything would come down, as you see. And then, of course, we do have the nether wart. That would be the first ingredient. And again, going back to my concepts, I do have these builds right here. So you can see where I have the lever selected. And then if we press this you can see I only have certain ones retracting. So, again, I think it's cool just to kind of show you a little behind-the-scenes work of how I figured everything out. And then this became another tutorial later on down the road. So, there's that. I don't think that was the final version of it, but that was just another concept. Speaking of Bedrock exclusive features, this brings us to our next build, and that is the Automatic Item Sorter Storage System. I had to think about that one. Try saying that three times fast. Automatic Item sorter storage is what I ended up putting on the thumbnail. Uh, yeah, you can tell I had a fun time trying to name this one, but it is exactly what it says. It's automatic, automatically stores your items, and it's a storage system. So to demonstrate this, we do have our redstone bits right here. So let's go ahead. We're going to place in redstone and the repeaters. So there is our redstone right there. And again, bedrock exclusive features. Here is the hopper being pushed up, as you saw right there. That will filter through. And let's go ahead and place in what is it? The observers, which was this right here. I was playing around with the lights. So let's take a look at it from the back side. And we don't, I guess we can put in 43. So it's going to make its way down. And then this extends up. And the light turns on to let us know that this is the current item going in. And then you can see that filling up right there. So there's that build. And again, going behind the scenes, here is the first concept of it. When I finally figured it out. And you can see I was playing with a few different designs right here so you can see I had it wired slightly different and here's some different things here and just a spoiler alert I did figure out how to make this store items that stack in 16 so right now this only works for items that stack in 64 as you see here but like I said I did figure out how to wire this up so it works for stacks of 16 now unfortunately I haven't figured out the non stackable item thing yet but with that being said do expect a version 2 of this to come out sometime down the road and for the last build on the list for my top 10 of 2018 is the hidden tree entrance this was made at the end of october and i believe this one was the final version here so we press the button that retracts our trunk and this drops this down for a little staircase to hop on down we can come on down and then close it up behind us and i believe this was the final version because i do hear that dropper clicking right there okay so that was the final version that made it to the tutorial and again you can see all my different prototypes out here. I'm not I'm not even sure if these still work. Some of these work, some of them don't. Or they do work sometimes, and sometimes they don't. So again, taking a look at my concepts here. And here is a slightly bigger version of it, but it still works. And that's one thing I always try to do when I make my builds, is make them a lot more compact. So that was, I believe, version 1. And then you can see version 2 is a lot more compact than that. And there is my Dracula door that I was wiring up from Mumbo's Challenge back for Halloween. So there's all the mechanics there and again behind the scenes look and again this looks like my storage system I was working on. So again there's different bits and pieces there of the storage system. So my redstone is all over the place and you can see how bulky this one is. And I guess that one does work. No. Yeah. You can see this one does not work. Kinda, kinda works but it doesn't retract. So again, it was working out. Hello? Where did you come from? Anyways, 
working out the timings, and again, major theme of the whole episode or video today was me figuring things out and being super excited about it, and of course, sharing it with all of you. So you can see, yeah, that just that just got all messed up. And there you have it, everyone. That is my top 10 list of 2018 of my favorite redstone builds. Now, don't get me wrong, I love all the redstone creations I make, so it was hard putting this list together, but like I said, the theme of this video was just all the redstone that I had trouble figuring out, and then when I finally figured it out, I got really, really excited about it. And, ooh, I do see one more build I want to show off. I made this back in 2017, and this is using my triple piston extender, and you can see my different takes and my triple, ex triple piston extender builds right here. So I don't even know what I was trying to do there, some sort of staircase, but I couldn't cover that up. But the one I wanted to show you, and there's my triple piston extender, vertical triple piston extender. You can see my different different uh, prototypes there. But this is the one that I never created. So I do believe I showed this off in my piston house, which I did last year. And speaking of, uh, I think I'm going to do another one because that was done back in January, the piston house. So let's go ahead. We're going to flip that. That would be a staircase going up, as you see right there. And then, of course, if we retract it, everything goes back down to the floor. And I think... I think I was just messing around at this point. So, kind of like a little elevator that pushes you up. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. So, if we press this. Again, these are builds that have never seen the light of day. And there you have it, everyone. My top 10 builds, plus a few extra of 2018. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been Rogue Fox, and I'm out. I'll see you later.